Today we're going to be looking at algebraic fractions, so things like these, and how do we sort them out and simplify them. But before we start that, we're going to look at some normal fractions. Um, now, if we have something like this, 3 plus 6 over 3, right? 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 over 3 is 3. Um, and in contrast, if we have 3 times 6 over 3, we've got 3 times 6 is 18, and 18 over 3 gives you 6. What I want to use these to illustrate is, when is it okay for us to cancel top and bottom? So when is it okay for us to say, okay, 3 goes into 3 once, into 3 once, right? Which of those two are okay and which is not, right? Now, if we have a look at this one at the top, right, what we'll get is that 1 plus 6 gives us 7, and at the bottom we've got 3, so we've got 7 over 3, and that's not what we wanted because the answer we know is 3. So this is wrong. We cannot cancel top and bottom. And the reason we can't cancel is because we've got that plus sign. And we've been looking at for quite some time now the fact that multiplication and division distribute over the plus sign. In other words, what do we mean by distribute? It means that this 3 must divide into 3 and it must distribute over that plus sign and also divide into 6. So 3 goes into 3 once and it also distributes and divides into the 6 and it divides in there twice and we get the answer 3. Here, this is not okay because we're only, we're not distributing that 3 over the plus sign, right? We're only dividing it into the 3. It is fine here, there's no problem when everything is multiplied together. It is fine just to cancel because you'll see here that what we'll end up with is 1 times 6, which is 6 over 1, which is 6, which gives us what we wanted. So, if we have multiply, no problem just to cancel top and bottom. But if we have a plus or a minus, then we need to cancel. And we actually have looked at this before. And um, one of the ways we could do it, if we were, say, with an algebra, algebraic fraction, is we could just distribute. We could say 5 goes into 5x, x times, and 5 goes into 15, 3 times, right? So we could distribute it. But the problem is going to be when we have something like this, and to try and distribute that over both things, x plus 3 into 5, ugh, not going to be easy to do, right? So what we're going to end up doing is what we're going to do is we're always going to factorize top and bottom of the equation, so we ha I mean of the fraction, so that we have them just as things multiplied together, and then we can cancel. Let me show you what I mean. When we look at algebraic fractions, it is very tempting in this one, for example, to cancel the 2 with a 2. But, same as we've just seen, if there is a plus sign, I cannot just cancel because this 2 should distribute over the things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize the top. So take out a common factor of 2. What's left from 4x? It's going to be 2x because 2x times 2 gives me 4x. What's left from 2? It's just going to be 1. Now can you see what I have is this multiplied by that, this times by that. The factorizing has given us two things multiplied together. So when they multiply together, I can just cancel and I'll get 2x plus 1. Okay, try this one here for yourself. Pause the video now, see what you can do, and we'll go over it. All right, hopefully you weren't tempted just to cancel x with x because you noticed that there's a minus. So if there is a plus or a minus, you know that you need to factorize. And again, we can take out a common factor here. So what we're going to have is a common factor of x, and this leaves 2x because 2x times x is 2x squared. And here it'll be minus 1 because minus 1 times x is minus x. Now, because we've got two things that are multiplied together, we can just cancel, and so we're left with 2x minus 1. This last one is a little bit tricky, um, and we will um, go, you'll come back to them at a later stage too, so don't panic too much about them just yet. But this one, we are going to do the same story. We see a plus sign at the top. We need to factorize. Now, I can just take out a common factor of 3. That would be the most obvious thing to take out. 
but I'm looking to head to wanting to cancel. And so I can see it would be very nice if I actually took out a common factor of minus three. And if I do that, then they'll cancel out very nicely and easily. It just makes my factorizing a bit trickier. But I'm not too stupid with negative, so I can do it, right? I know that it's going to be 2x, because 3 times 2x gives me 6x. But it must, in fact, be minus 2x, because the negative times the negative is what I need to make the positive 6. And similarly for here, and I know it's going to be a 3, but I want it to be a negative 3, because minus 3 times minus 3 is what gives me the plus 9. So I just have to watch my signs a bit carefully, but then it makes it very nice. I can cancel and I'll get minus 2x minus 3. And we can even do it with trinomials. So say we're asked to simplify this. Well, we've got pluses and minuses, right? So we know we cannot just start cancelling x's or whatever. We have to factorize. And you've had lots of practice in factorizing, so you can factorize that trinomial quite easily by now, I hope. So you'll have x plus 4, x minus 1, and at the bottom you've got x plus 4. So what you've got is you've got two things multiplied together, and so you can just see what have you got. It's x plus 4 times x minus 1. And at the bottom, you've got an x plus 4, so you can cancel the whole x plus 4 with the other whole x plus 4, and you're left with x minus 1. Okay, try this one for yourself. Pause the video and see what you can do. First things first, factorize. Okay, let's see what you did. Right, you didn't try and cancel because you saw you've got pluses and minuses, so until you factorized, you can't go any further. This one, difference of two squares, right? So you know that that's what it looks like. And this one, you might have recognized that it is a square, or you might have had to do your normal trinomial factorization and got it as x plus 1, x plus 1. And then you can see quite easily that you can cancel this x plus 1 with this x plus 1, because you've just got stuff multiplied together at the top and multiplied together at the bottom. And so you get your final answer of x minus 1 over x plus 1.